guys, it's Dr. Erica, and I am here at Tinkercad, and we're going to look at how we're going to make our second Tinkercad project, which is making our garden pots. So again, you'll have to come up here to sign in on your account, and we don't have a class, so you're just going to use your own email or username, and we will get signed in together. And now you're going to want to create a new design. So come up here in this corner right here that says create new design. Click on that and you should get a nice blank canvas for yourself. And we're going to always rename it first. I'm going to name this plant pot because that is our current project. And I'll put my name on it because if you're on Beambridge, I'll need to have your name on it to know whose plant pot I'm printing out. So we renamed it and now we're all ready. And we can make whatever kind of plant pot we want. So this is totally up to you. If you want sort of a cool polygon plant pot, you could use this and we can make a whole, I'm gonna to try to make something that looks more like a normal plant pot we see out and about. So I'm gonna click on the paraboloid. And I'm gonna bring it out. So when I click, it'll set itself down. Remember if I right click, I can move my mouse around to make it look different. And I want my pot, I actually think this, what now the top is going to be the bottom of my pot, and I want that to be sort of more flat. So what I can do to do that is I can bring one of this box about a hole. So if I just click on it, and I'll bring it out like this. And if I, oops, i got to click to let it go. If I hit control and press the up arrow on my keyboard a few times, I can... Maybe decide how far down I want my pot to go. So maybe I want it to go a little higher. And I can always make it higher later too. So this is just going to cut off that bottom piece. And I want those two pieces to be together. So I'll highlight both of them. I'll click and I'll stretch the box over both of them. And I'll come up here to the grouping. Or I can also to hit control group. And so that is going to be, this is actually the bottom of it. So what I want to do, I want to flip it over. I'm going to use this set of arrows, and I could either type in 180 degrees here, or I could hold and sort of twist it until I get 180 degrees like that. So this is what my pot's going to look like. And I do think I want it to be a little bit taller. So I can just raise that up by grabbing this middle piece. You can go up and down with your mouse. Now we're going to try to go for about two inches for our plant pots, and that's about 50 millimeters. So if I, I want the square instead of it to be 20 by 20, I want it to be 50 by 50. So I can click on it, and I can write 50 in one of them, and then I come over to the other one, and I'll hit 50, and when you hit enter, it'll make it 50 by 50. So this is about two inches, and now that it's two inches, it looks like it's not very tall. So I'll come and I'll grab this red box right here and I'll click down and I can pull up to make my pot which is perfect so this is looking great of course I also want somewhere to plant my plant in the pot I need a place for it so maybe I'll use this half sphere I'll click on it and I can pull it out and I want it to be a hole so I'm going to come up here and instead of having it be a solid I'm going to click on this hole, and immediately you'll notice I can sort of see through it, which helps me know that that is, in fact, a hole. And I'll make this, I can always click and drag to make things bigger or smaller. And I want to flip this over. So again, I could either click and hold onto these arrows to, to twist it, or I could click and write 180 degrees because I want it to flip all the way over. And so let's see, if we look at it from the side, it looks like I want it to be a little bit taller, maybe, like that. And what I'll do is I want to line these two pieces up. So I'm going to click and drag over both of them. I'm going to align them. I want them to be centered inside of each other. And I also want the tops to be flush so that this is coming at the top. And as I see that, I kind of, personally, I think I want this to be a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to stretch it out some more and I could either move it around if I want it to be off center which could be a really cool way to have it I can make a really unique pot or again I can click and drag to highlight both of them and come up here to align 
and I could center those two pieces like that. And if I want to see what this hole is going to look like, I can actually click on the outside of my pot, tell it to be a hole as well, and you can see that I can see the shape sort of on the inside. So that can be helpful for planning what you want to do. So I actually want to make this a solid again, and I'm going to group these two items together so that they will be one nice big plant pot shape. And if I want this to be a really good plant pot, I need it to have what we call drainage. So I need a hole in it. I can just take a cylinder and I can drag it out and put it here and I can just drag this to be really small. It doesn't have to be a round circle. If you want it to be circular, you can make it six by six or seven by seven or even smaller would be fine. And then I can make a couple, I probably want like two holes at least. So what I'll do is I'll actually, I'll click on it and I'll hit control C for copy. And I can click off of it and I can hit control V for paste. And now I have two of these and I could highlight both of them and I could align them so that they're sort of centered on each other. And I could actually group the two of them together like this and there's still holes together now I can drag it both at the same time and I can line it up with my current plant pot so I can center it both directions and if I use my right click on the mouse I can sort of scroll under and see check those holes are going to go through so that my plant a little bit of drainage so I can highlight everything and I can group this together and if you ever make a mistake, up here is your undo button. And you can undo things. And if you say, oops, I didn't want to undo that, there's also this redo button. So you can redo things, which is pretty handy. All right, so I can see the blue in here. So I know that this went all the way through, and I've got these nice, lovely little holes for my plant pot. So this is what my plant pot looks like. But I kind of want to have a little bit more fun with this. I want to introduce you guys to the scribble. So if I click on the scribble and I bring it over here, the moment I click down, I actually get a new window and I can use this window to draw something that I want. So maybe I'm going to draw the Minecraft face. And you can do it however you want. You could draw a flower. So I'll click on that to make that come in. And I think, does the Minecraft face, I think it has just a rectangular smile. So I can bring this over here. This is a great way to put your own personal artwork on your pot. And you'll notice that if there's any little holes, it was sort of outlined in black and I sort of went over those because that would, that would make it harder to print. So I could make something like this if I wanted to. And when I'm done, I come over here and I click done. If I made a mistake, I could actually click the eraser down here and I could erase something if I didn't like it. And when I was all ready, I could come back down and hit the pencil to keep drawing in. That's how I can get those pieces back together. All right, so when I'm done, I can go over here and hit done. And what happens is this actually comes into my thing. I'm very zoomed in, so I'll take my mouse. I can click and I can scroll out. Or you can use these buttons on the side for pluses and minuses right here. All right, so I've got this interesting little face, and I am going to put that over here. So what I need to do is I need to sort of flip it up towards me. So I'm going to grab that arrow. I'm going to flip it straight up like that, and now I can move it around. And if I want it to raise up, I need to, at, once I'm clicking on it, I'm going to hit Control and I'm going to hit that up button. So it raises up to wherever I want. And that's looking pretty good to me. I can make it come out a little bit more if I would like to by pressing sort of my left arrow. And my right arrow goes in, my left arrow goes out. I'm sort of noticing that because I have this angle coming in at the bottom of my pot over here, I've got this angle, 
the bottom of the mouth sticks out a lot, whereas the eyes don't stick out much. And if you like that, that's totally fine. You can leave it like that. If you don't, you could grab this arrow, this little rotating arrow again, and we could make it kind of at the same sort of angle if we wanted to. So that it didn't have to stick out quite so much, but it would all be sticking out. So maybe I want to do that. Maybe I want my pot to look like it has some. I think I'm going to make it look like it has some hair. So hmm, I can look down here and see what we have. What do we have that looks like hair? I don't know. Maybe I could put some spikes on it. So I could take a pyramid. And I can let's bring it up, so I'll press control and up to bring it up. And I'll move it back over here and bring it up a little bit more. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to shrink it down. If I press shift when I shrink it, it'll shrink it all at the same amount for every direction. If I want to do it like that. So I can do something like this. And once I have one of these, and maybe I'll start rotating them a little bit, I'm going to control copy that. So we got to click on it and copy it. I'm going to paste it a few times. Ooh, that looks cool. Like that looks really neat. So one thing I don't like is I don't like that this is straight where my plant pot is curved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slowly rotate these. Oops, I'm going to try to grab that arrow. I like grabbing the arrow better than putting the number in. I find that a little easier. So I'm just going to rotate these a little bit for each one so that it's kind of maybe more along that curve. Oops. Undo that, control D, or you can again press this little undo button up here. I'm going to move this guy over and I'll rotate it a little like that. And we can Move it around. And rotate this guy a little bit too. Maybe I'll just do five. So maybe I'll delete this one. This guy will be in the middle. Like that. Oh yeah, that guy's looking good. I am loving this. It's this fun little hairdo. If I wanted to, ooh, I could put some arms on this. Let's see, what kind of arms would I want? Hmm. Maybe I'll just put in, I think I'll just put in these as arms. So I'll click it and I'll click it out. I'm going to rotate it up and come up like this. And I will have, I'll raise it up like that. Let's see, how do I like that as an arm? I'm not sure. I kind of like an ear, actually. You know, I don't think I like that. I'm going to just click on it and delete that button. And I might just leave it as it is. I think this is kind of fun. So once I'm ready, I'm going to click, I'm going to highlight everything, because I have all these different pieces now. And I'm going to group those together. And I'll know it's grouped because it'll be all one solid color right there, which is really handy. So that tells me that it's grouped together. And then I will hit export. And again, if you don't have a 3D printer and you're not on Bainbridge, you can always send it to one of these printers that will print it for you. And they will ship it to you after it's printed. Or if you're on Bainbridge or you have your own printer, you can click download the STL file. And if you name it properly, it will come up as Plant Pot and Dr. Erica, and you just hit save there, which would be great. And then you could email me that piece right there. So that is what we're going to be doing this week as part of our gardening and our 3D project. And again, the big thing is that we're just going to make little pots. So about 50 millimeters as the diameter of our pots is what we're going for. But I really encourage you to use all of the different things and we played with text last week so if you wanted to add some text in that would be awesome you could try out that scribble if you wanted you could use all these really interesting shapes that are on here i encourage you to just play and tinker with it and see what you can come up with i am so excited we'll be doing this together i hope that you send me your projects and we'll check out what you got going on all right have a great night